All right, let's get a look at the forecast now for Friday. I'm not sure the exact statistics, but I know over the years, <laughs> moms just not happy with the forecast that they get for Mother's Day compared to the forecast that dads usually get in June for yeah. Father's Day. Yeah, we want to change Switch dates around. with you when the <laughs> average high is like in the 70s. Yeah. I mean, that said, I'd give this weekend like a solid B. That's good. Or B plus right. maybe even if I'm being generous. Let's go ahead and take a look at the conditions. We'll break down the details here. Dry Friday is a good way to kick off the weekend. We have seen some billowing clouds, though, this morning, and those are blocking out a lot of the sunshine for our inland areas, especially. If you want to find some sun right now, head down to the coastline. Look at the skies in Newport Harbor, clear blue conditions, and the wind's just a touch breezy off the water. It's dry, it's pleasant for today, but it is a little cooler than normal and cooler than yesterday. We still have that spot shower in the forecast for Saturday, and Sunday's looking like a nice day for mom. It'll be the warmest day of our stretch. So looking out at the satellite and radar, we've got a couple of things going on. You can see this batch of showers moving across Pennsylvania and a storm system developing out over the ocean. It's this batch of showers, though, that's going to threaten us with a little brief interruption in your maybe outdoor plans that you might have for Saturday. Otherwise, we are dry on our radar this afternoon and expected to stay that way through the rest of the day, even with some of those extra clouds around 58 degrees in Smithfield, 62 in Providence, and about 60 degrees in New Bedford right now with the winds taking that turn to more of that onshore flow from what we had this morning and about 10 to 15 mile per hour winds expected and that'll continue as well this afternoon so plan on a mixture of clouds and some sunshine and lower 60s for a high by five and six o'clock this evening we're starting to see everyone cooling back into the 50s so it'll be a cool dry night we'll keep the extra clouds in place and we'll wake up to mostly cloudy skies on Saturday here's that forecast for Saturday so lots of clouds around in northeast and eastern wind during the day and by the late afternoon and early evening that's when we're going to be prone to a couple of pop-up showers now more likely to see them in western New England but a few of them may pop up into Rhode Island or even southeastern Massachusetts through about eight or nine o'clock in the evening and then after that with the sun going down, the showers will diminish and eventually the clouds will clear out too. And we'll wake up to sun filled skies on Sunday morning. It's looking good for moms. We'll start off with the sunshine and the temperatures climbing out of the 40s and into the 50s in the morning. Still mostly sunny skies at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, near 66, but ending the day with some clouds rolling in. And that'll be ahead of our next widespread rainfall event, looking to be Sunday night and at least into the morning hours of Monday. The temperatures next week are fine, 60 to 65, but keep in mind, average high this time of year is now up to the upper 60s. So what we see is overall the next seven days, pretty much at or below normal high temperatures.